You're listening to Curdle Holler, Season 2, Episode 1, Whistling Past the Graveyard. Okay, I've started the ritual clock. Halloween is almost over, and I've been into all kinds of Chip Clearly shenanigans tonight. Nita, did you see me give our old station manager a ghostly wedgie? I missed that, but I was busy freaking out those snobby shop ladies who wouldn't let me try on that fancy dress that one time. It was just like in Pretty Woman, except for the part where I pulled my face off and they ran away. Should have just taken your makeup off and saved yourself the sore muscles. Ha ha. So I take it you weren't there to see my Halloween handiwork? No, he wasn't. He was assisting me with setting up the binding ritual as requested. I don't know why I keep taking these low-paying summoner gigs. Oh, come on, summoning Simon. If you didn't want the four zaps, you shouldn't have swiped right on the app. Anyway, Simon, sorry I'm a little late, but I'm here now, and we still have a couple of minutes. So let's do this ritual! Now, as we begin the binding ritual, it is imperative that you both keep your feet on the pentacular chalk outlines. Heels touching! Ooh, in my ballerina booty camp class, we called this stance a Pilates V. It is also imperative that you not interrupt the ritual with your ridiculous comments. Summoning Simon, the question. Will the binding ritual fail if my whole foot isn't making contact with the chalk line? I do have the high arches of an aristocrat, you know. Silence, you invisible windbag! I swear, everyone in this wretched town gets stupider every day. Someone ought to teach you nincompoops a lesson. Sheesh, Mr. Simon, chill out. We're just nervous. We really want this binding ritual to work. Then stop talking! We have approximately 43 seconds of pentacular luminosity in which the bindee can walk through the earth holler portal to be rebound. Not a second more. I think I hear him now. Pumpkin, is that you? Get over here. We only have a few seconds to get you through the Halloween portal and rebind you. Hold on. I ain't going through without my pet tater bug. So anyway, hi and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Bonita and I'm the Mistress of Mystery. And today's vlog is extra special, as you can tell from my super clickbaity title. Halloween vlog, first successful interdimensional binding ritual, the ending will shock you! So, in the footage you just saw, we were like seconds away from getting a displaced Curdle Holler citizen from the Earth realm back into the afterlife realm. But of course, Pumpkin is like delaying, so I'm stressed. And summoning Simon is a nightmare to work with because he can't go five seconds without calling us nincompoops, which, okay, may be a fair criticism, especially of Chip, but is just rude. Anyway. Please enjoy the rest of the video, and don't forget to graveyard smash that like button, toll that bell icon, and subscribe to the Mistress of Mystery for more great content, including spooky shopping hauls and evil makeup tutorials. But let's pick back up where we left off. Get through the portal at once, you imbecilic slow walker! Come on, little tater bug. Get on in Punky's Pocky. You can meet my other friends. Pumpkin, you really have to hurry. We only have a few seconds for you to get through the portal. Hang on, my shoe's untied. Pumpkin, just walk through with your shoe untied. It's fine. Bunny ear, bunny ear, around the bend and through the meadow and pool. Now, now pumpkin. pumpkin! It's working! The bindy shimmers into existence before our eyes. Say hey to Pumpkin. Y'all got any candy? We just went trick-or-treating, Pumpkin. We have tons of candy. But what is that weird lump in your overall pocket? Is it getting bigger? It's my pet tater bug I want to introduce y'all to. Oh, oh, heck, oh, heck, God dang it, that smarts! Sheriff? Sheriff? What just happened here? Y'all in cattle holler. Ha! 
Choosing a thumbnail and processing. Excuse me, miss. Does your store carry novelty contact lenses? Perhaps something in a cat eye? For the last time, Mr. Giant Eyeball, novelty contact lenses are only sold in standard eyeball diameters. Can you special order some in my size? I don't want to be rude, sir, but I am trying to deal with a very weird problem right now. This is a Halloween town, ma'am. We've all got freaky deaky problems. Mr. Clearly, Miss Vaughn Wingenkamp, the sheriff has asked me to tell you that he is going to be in the restroom for a while, but assured me that he is certainly not trying to escape, so don't be suspicious. Hmm. Now that I say that aloud, it sounds rather suspicious, does it not? Normally I would agree with you, Rochester, but remember how the sheriff has IBS? Had IBS, I mean, when he was here before? Mr. Chip, where'd you move that box of hands y'all had? Aisle three, next to the feet. Okay, I ain't gonna buy none. I'm just gonna touch them all and mash in the tongues. Mr. Clearly, I have precise recollection of a number of harrowing memories of my afterlife, but none so horrible as what you just made me consider with that gory detail. Don't be so hard on the guy, Rochester. His condition is entirely psychosomatic. He's a troubled soul. His persona and shadow selves are fighting a fierce battle. Whoa, Chip. Where's all this sympathy coming from? And all this skeleton psychology? When I'm in the bathroom, I read the encyclopedia. Volume 12 was IBS to Jung. Well, that's really gross, Chip. Thanks for sharing. Be that as it may, Mr. Clearly, the fact remains that the sheriff was quite publicly allied to the unscrupulous Belfry Batsinger. Yeah, what are we supposed to do with him? Isn't he technically a criminal? Excuse me, sir. Since you are non-corporeal, could you please not handle the merchandise? Why not? Oh. oh, boy. We shall take him to the caretaker's office at once and summon his replacement, Pastor Munch. I would like to see the town's elders weigh in on this unusual reappearance. I think that's a good idea, Roddy. I mean, it's not every day that our arch enemy's little henchman appears back in town, transformed from an insect after we all assumed he was dead from being zooped through a portal to Earth. I mean, when you put it like that. Okay, my video is finally done processing. Chip, you've got to get on your BooTube account and be the first person to like it. That's fine, Nita, but I'm not going to watch the video 600 times to increase your play count. Oh, when have I ever asked you to do that? Every time you upload a video! And I can't even use the advice in your spooky lady makeup tutorials. I'm invisible! Well, I'll have you know that this video is going to get popular entirely on its own merits. No one has ever brought an Earthbound resident back to Curdle Holler. Pumpkin made history! I can't believe it! It's like he never even left. He even looks exactly the same as he did before. He looks a bit different, I think. His orange rind has taken on a more mature, burnished hue. I think his overalls are a little starchier, too. Like they just got pressed at the dry cleaner. Hey, Pumpkin! Put down your toy car and come here a minute, would you? Okay. Are you going to ring me up, ma'am? I can say you're not really busy. And I need help, too! I don't want to waste the full moon waiting on some customer service here! Okay, look, customers. I know we've all been a little busy lately, what with me expanding the store's inventory with my awesome side hustle and Benita becoming a BooTube sensation. Well, maybe not sensation. What's three steps down from a sensation? A curiosity? I never was! Really appreciate the support, everybody. But anyhow, we'll pay more attention to the store just as soon as we're done dealing with this situation with Pumpkin and the Sheriff. It's pretty important. I can ring up the customers so they will stop writing angry one-star reviews which describe the boutique as a haunted dumpster fire. Finally! What y'all talk about up here? Pumpkin, you have to tell us what happened on yeah. Earth. How did you meet the sheriff there? What did you yeah. do the whole time? What was yeah. it like? What were you like? I was pretty handsome. Yeah, we're not going to squeeze a lot of info out of that old melon. 
Okay, Chip, Rochester is right. We need to get the sheriff out of here and get Pumpkin checked out too. Plus, don't you have a delivery you have to make today? Yes, Nita. We can go do all that stuff. But first, I have a sales appointment. I'm gonna go put on my seatbelt. Picture it, Marco. You're out on a date with your best gal. It's late, way past the curfew set by your uncool old man. You're trying to get home, but you just got waylaid at the haunted bridge. The headless sportsman himself has just challenged you to a hot rod race. Betty Lou looks at you and says, Can you win the race, Marco? Well, I have to spend an eternity being a bridge ghost just because you didn't have wheels that were sporty enough for the task. That's where the Hauntiac Firebird comes in. Can't you see yourself behind the wheel of this beast? I don't know, man. Does it fly? Or does it just flap its wings and blow smoke at its beak? Of course it flies. It flies down the street at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. On its wheels. Dang, Marco. That thing cost a lot for it not to fly or do nothing but roll. Yeah, Marco. Also, look at those stripes on it. Ugh, so dorky. What? Those are bona fide Hauntiac Blood Red Need for Speed decals. They're both classic and cool. Marco, don't listen to your friends. They're a couple of squares. Listen to me, Chip Clearly. Like my commercial says, Chip Clearly's Car Corner. Clearly, you've come to the right place. Excuse me, everyone. Hi, Casey, Terry, Marco. I see you're up to some team junk. Good for you. Uh, Chip, sorry to interrupt, but do you think we can leave for our errands now? You still have that delivery to make, and Pumpkin and the Sheriff are driving me crazy. Oh, oh, oh still, Pumpkin. I'm gonna shoot this apple off of your head. Watch this. I'm real good at it. Hang on, I wanna do some cartwheels. Okay, all cartwheels and trick shooting need to happen away from the storefront. In a second, Benita. I'm about to close this deal with our young friend Marco here. Whoa, 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 Daddy-o. Marco doesn't have the dough. Well, then why did you make the appointment? I wanted to show off to my friends. Yeah, Benita. Yeah, Marco don't have to spend any money to impress anybody. He looks cool just walking around these old junk buckets. Marco, I'm going to give you my card. You give me a call when you're ready to buy now. I can't read what it says. Marco, you never learned to read. You're so brave to admit that. Yeah, Marco, we're going to teach you how to read so you can learn more about baseball. I'm going to forget how to read. Okay, they're gone, Chip. Can we please go? We have stuff to do. Fine. Who's all coming with us? So it's you, me, Pumpkin, the Sheriff, and Rochester wants to come too. Ah, crap. We need a five-seater. We can't take one of my awesome sports cars. Who cares, Chip? We'll just take a minivan or something. Fine. We'll take the Swamp Squire. It has plenty of elbow room and room for stowing extra body parts. Front-blowing AC. And it can go 160 miles on one fright charge. Sounds good. Also, shotgun. Sorry, Nita. Rochester already called shotgun. Uh... Ow, pumpkin, you just stepped on my foot. Oops, sorry. Rochester, I just don't think it's fair that you can call Shotgun before the trip has even begun. I'm deeply sorry, Miss Von Wengenkamp, but Chip has granted me Shotgun in perpetuity, owing to the many foul deeds I performed whilst helping him pave the car lot. We unearthed so many bones. But Nita, don't worry. I've got the brainiest lady in Curdle Holler working on some wheels for the boutique crew. When she's done with all the insane modifications on my monster truck, you won't even mind sitting in the back seat. The thing's gonna be crawling with drink holders. Actually, Mr. Clearly, Minerva has informed me that your crawling drink holder idea is not going to work without employing the darkest of magic. Aw, oh, shucks. My monster truck's never gonna rampage at this rate. Ooh, hang on, the weather. I wanna see if it's safe to put the top down. Please don't put the top down. And now, your top of the hour weather report. It's a balmy yet putrid 66 degrees, and the barometer is falling to Dante's depths. That means rain, and lots of it. More news after these messages, if any of you care. Uh, that was weird. Okay, quick review of our itinerary. Oh, let me turn this down. Okay. 
go see Caretaker Ghost and Pastor Munch and figure out what to do with Pumpkin and the Sheriff, who isn't the Sheriff anymore now that I think about it. What's your actual name, Sheriff? Oh, you know my name is Bones Malone. Why you think my belt buckle says BAM on it? A nod to your struggles with IBS, perhaps? Confound it! Okay, so go see the caretaker and Pastor Munch, do whatever caretaker ghost tells us to do, R.E. these two Earth Returners, then go do Rochester's errand, which was... What, Roddy old pal? A simple pharmaceutical transaction at the compounding alchemist. Won't take but a moment. Okay, then we do my thing, which is stopping by the splint store to upgrade my bone phone plan. Then we cap off our productive afternoon with the delivery I need to make. That's all the way across town at the collector's house. Speaking of, who has the package for the collector? I got it right here. I'm resting my feet on it. Remind me again why we didn't put it in the trunk? Uh, I think the logic was that we would take better care of it if we took turns holding it in our laps. I don't know if that was the greatest idea. Okay, everyone, please just be careful with the collector's package. I don't know what's in there, but he said it was very fragile. It was also very expensive. Are those air holes in the package? Uh, uh, yeah, those air holes. I mean, there certainly isn't holes I shot it up by mistake. Oh dear. Well, let us play the hearse game and see who can be the quietest passenger for a bit. I'm going to turn up the radio again. Alright. Okie dokie. And we're back from commercial. This just in, no one cares! After all, none of you cared when my associates and I were sucked into the portal last year. I held on for dear death via the crook of my mic flag and clambered back home against unspeakable odds. But strangely, no one is interviewing me about my story. I'll have more details right after I read these pointless news items. Wow, that news announcer is really disgruntled. I know all the signs. He sounds about one Emmy snub away from a full-on freakout. On the western edge of town, a number of citizens are dealing with a nuisance of the musical variety. Reports of a horrible, eerie tune heard playing at oddball intervals have been flooding the station. Witnesses say the song is both painful to the ear and extremely compelling, like an evil version of MacArthur Park. Only one thing's for certain. If you have a cake, keep it inside. Don't leave it outside in the afternoon's rains. It's been nice knowing you. This is CH Radio 1. Should we, like, do something for the news guy? Maybe a fruit basket? Sure, we'll swing by after we've done all the other stuff. First things first, though. Let's go see the caretaker. Chip, what are you doing out here? I thought we agreed to take turns leaving the caretaker's office out of boredom. I had to get out. My bladder's the size of a walnut, and I had to keep drinking that terrible library coffee to stay awake in there. Shh! Well, I was going to take Pumpkin to play on the library computers while we waited, but Mimi said no. Apparently there's some kind of problem with network security. Well, that makes sense. I was wondering why they put up that firewall. So much fire. Yeah, my dress got singed. Yeah, and you got a bunch of soot on your face. Uh, nope, wait. Uh, That's just your makeup. Chip! Lick your thumb and try to wipe it off? What are you, 80 years old? I feel like I've been waiting here for 80 years. I'm going to peek in there and see if they're any closer to being done. Shh. And that concludes the reading and interpretation of the passages on revocation of citizenship and on the conditions for reinstitution of citizenship in the Curdle Codex 10423.7, the last of the 17 codices I have pulled for us to consult in this matter. A robust analysis, Albert. Whatever you decide, I bear witness to your most careful consideration. As do I, caretaker. I am ready to enact your judgment on this white barren skeleton. Ooh, Chip, I think they're done. Or, you know, very slowly winding up. Knock, knock. Chip and Benita, requesting permission to come back into your office, Albert. Come on in, you two. As my constituents, you don't need permission to enter my office. Plus, you were already here a moment ago. So what's the verdict, caretaker? Are you sending the sheriff to jail? Oh, heavens to bats! I certainly hope not! What? Why do you care, Pastor Munch? Benita! He's not just Pastor Munch. He's the new sheriff, remember? But you're still Pastor Munch. You can call me Sheriff Pastor Munch. Or the Reverend Sheriff Munch. Uh, okay. Let me update your contact info in my bone phone. So anyway, back to my original point, 
the former sheriff was Batsinger's accomplice. I say lock him up. Oh, so dang it. bloodthirsty. Oh. Bonita, I urge you to locate a bit of compassion for the sheriff. After carefully reviewing the town codices, it is my judgment that he will be released for probationary citizenship under the watchful eye of Sheriff Pastor Munch. This release, however, is pending a full physical and psychological evaluation by Dr. Sawbones. Probationary citizenship. Well, thank you, caretaker. So I'm, I'm gonna be like... My deputy. Deputy Sheriff, Sheriff Bones Malone. Or just deputy, Sheriff. I mean... Bones? Deputy Sheriff, Sheriff. Good jumping, Grasshopper. This is going to be confusing. I believe I see some overalls in the doorway. Pumpkin, won't you come in here and join us? I counted to a million, but then I got bored. Pumpkin, before you go see Dr. Sawbones, I wanted to give you a small token gift to symbolize your reintegration back into our frightful community. Oh, my praise it. As caretaker of Curdle Holler, it is my honor to rededicate you as a citizen of our town. Here's a keychain. Yay, a keychain! Mr. Chip, can I have a key to your house to put on it? Sure, Pumpkin. We'll stop by the locksmith when we're done with our other errands. But first things first, we gotta get you and the sheriff to the doctor's office. Okay, sorry about that. I know I said the doctor's office next, but I didn't realize that the splint store was on the way. So, sorry you all had to wait in the car. You also said we was going to get ice cream after the doctor, but I want it now. That's right, Sheriff. For good behavior. Would you like me to take a quick jolt inside the convenience store? I can bring Minerva her lunch while it lives. And I can purchase a small confectionery item for these two to share. Good idea, Rochester. We'll be out here. I need to check in with the collector anyway. Ooh, a speakerphone call. Everyone's favorite. Nita, if you didn't want me using Bluetooth technology, you shouldn't have put me on your phone plan and given me this behemoth of a bone phone. You know I've got to try it out. Oh, did I mention that our new phones can tap into the ether via satellite? So we can get around all those weird security blocks for our very important business. Running the boutique? Well, sure, but I meant checking Bluetooth to see how my video's doing. Whoa! Hey guys, look! The vlog I posted about you has like 30,000 views. And Pumpkin's the star. Well, yeah, Pumpkin, I guess so. And I'm his trusty sidekick. You can trust me. Trustworthy. Probationary. Deputy Sheriff. Sheriff Bones Malone. Spreading it on a little thick there, Sheriff. And look at all my new followers. Chip, I'll have you know that the Mistress of Mystery channel now boasts 4,000 subscribers. That's a full 10% of the median number of subscribers for the average Real Housewives of Curdle Holler cast member. 10! Where did you get that number, Benita? That doesn't sound very accurate. I read all of the BooTube industry trade publications. My info is very accurate. Didn't you tell me that Fibula Von Snap has 2 million followers? Well, of course she does. I said the average cast member. Botulipula only has 38,000. See? Yes, show me more. This is a fascinating subject for everyone in the car. Oh, la di da. Oh, la di da, super duper. Oh, oh that scared me. Hello? Hello, shopkeep. I would like to inquire about the status of my delivery. Right, your delivery. It's, uh, in transit. Out for delivery. And are you being very careful with it? You mustn't disturb the package. That's it. Uh, did the package just sneeze? Whatever you do, don't handle the package roughly. It's most delicate. Oh, look, there's a new dent in the package. We're doing great. Mr. Collector, we're handling your important package like it was a newborn babe. Well, if you poke your fingers in these holes, you can kind of feel what it is. See here? Poke your fingers in here, Mr. Von Wagenkamp. Yeah, no. Well, okay. That's <laughs> gross. Pimmy pokey. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, touch it. Squishy. <laughs> All right. I expect to see you within the hour. Absolutely, sir. Uh, which hour are we talking about here?
Ah, ha! I knew it was here somewhere. Dr. Sawbones, what is that thing? It looks like an evil protractor. It's my brain ruler. It measures the shape of one's skull to determine their tendencies for deviousness. We about done here. I don't care for being under a magnifying glass, to tell you the truth. Well, get ready, because you're next, Bug Bones. He looks nervous to me, Chip. He does look nervous, like he's got something to hide. I, y'all the one's nervous. Got something to hide. Secret. Hold still, Pumpkin. This may aggravate your humors. <laughs> His face looks like a bird. Fascinating. What do you see, Doc? Is he full of candy or, like, 500 nickels? He's a paradox. No, a pumpkin. Both old and young, infinite and provincial, childish yet noble, he's also ambitious but lazy, and he has a sweet tooth. We're getting ice cream. What did you experience on the other side, Pumpkin? It was different. Anything else I should know? My granddaddy's asleep in the car. Well, I'm satisfied. Let's update your death certificate. So he's good then? He is uncorrupted by his time among the mortals. I wonder if we can say the same about the sheriff, or if he's a bad guy who needs to go to jail. Yeah, Doc. If there's an evil bone in that skeleton's body, we want to know about it. Ugh, y'all, y'all are so old. I mean, I'm telling you, I changed. Spending time with a little old bug, crawling around some overalls, that'll teach you about humility. Get you thinking about your life. So if I must go to prison, then I will. But you'll be the real prisoners. Prisoners of your own mind. Because you could not see me as I am. That's great. I'm going to hit your leg with a hammer. God dang it! I hear some arthritis, irritable bowel, left-handedness, but the sheriff is not overtly evil. That's my diagnosis. Not overtly evil. Did y'all hear the man? I'm pure of heart. Okay, you passed your test so you can have some candy. I like this guy. A deal's a deal, I guess. He's good, too. What about you two? You've been here a year but haven't yet scheduled an autopsy. Benita will have the leeches. Actually, I might be getting a cold if you've got something for that. A simple procedure. We'll draw a hole in the back of your head to allow the demons to come out. No, thanks. The park is riddled with bodies today. It must be the ominous weather. Yeah, the news guy wasn't kidding about that storm. I guess I don't have time to eat this gelato ice cream. So many toes. I'll eat your toes, Chip. Cut it out, pumpkin. I made it. Sheriff, pumpkin, stay where we can see you. He's chasing me with that dang old knife. Get back to your bag. <laughs> We're still taking that dude to jail, right? I mean, it would be funny. Well, you know, we can't. The doctor said he's a totally normal, middle-aged cowboy skeleton. And I guess he really did change inside Pumpkin's pocket universe. Now you get on my shoulders. Pumpkin, you ain't got no shoulders. <laughs> they do enjoy some sort of symbiotic relationship. <laughs> but without an arch enemy, who am I? Besides a handsome, genius, maverick businessman. It's a new day, Chip. Belfry Batsinger's gone, and we just had the most successful Halloween in years. Look at the Fright Crystal. That is really loud. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a new start. This will be the year of Bonita. Hey, you pumpkin! Yeah! Hold up now. Back up and form a line. Pumpkin will sign autographs one at a time. Two at a time if you join by stitches or curses. Uh-oh. Looks like Pumpkin's a celebrity now. Thanks to my viral video. You can't buy these overalls nowhere. Your mama's got to make them. <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> what, the laughing? They don't know him yet, so they still think he's funny. That noise. It is no longer quiet enough to hear a scream. Yep, Pumpkin's the new It Girl. They'll be talking about him for years. Along with his best friend, Chip, clearly. We all live in hope of a sterling epitaph, Chip. But when one becomes as loud and bright as the fright crystal itself, then he cannot see outward. 
And how can we serve our fellows if we cannot see past ourselves? Yeah, Chip. I run my own business. Just go inside and ask for the pumpkin discount. Maybe we can use his popularity to help the store. We must fight tooth and nail for its survival. Our fates depend on it. I agree. No one should have to work at Chip's car lot. I'll feel better once we can sell that package to the collector. <laughs> I'm melting! A question for the Mistress of Mystery. Did you remember to close the trunk when you threw your purse in the car? Uh... Bonita? I was very distracted, okay? The sheriff lost a pistol in the car seats, and anyway, the rain can't go sideways. I also left my window down. Our package exploded! More likely, it escaped. Use a different word, Rochester. That one makes me nervous. I recognize these pungent leavings as belonging to the rare and deadly Octojaw. Are we talking eight legs or eight mouths? Because I want to be prepared. Both. I reckon it was in the larval stage until the moisture hastened its metamorphosis. Imagine, if you will, a screaming dervish with gnashing fangs, flailing limbs, and preternatural strength. It's a real beast. Could be a problem. I regret dropping the box those couple of times, and those several other times in secret. Well, okay, so we know it'll be mad, but that means we can follow a trail of destruction? My intuition says it went that way. Okay, folks, Pumpkin's still in the privy, but I caught most of that, and I want you to know I have experience covering up wrongdoings. The first thing you gotta do is get your story straight. Or we can get this delivery to the collector just like we planned. <laughs> Y'all are real different, I'll tell you that right now. Sheriff, go get Pumpkin from the bathroom. We're gonna find an expert. The, the old, old man, man with the dog. dog. Whose name we never learned. Hello, good sir. Come on in. I see you brought the whole night shift. On the phone, you mentioned something about a creature. You wanted to borrow my encyclopedias or something? We were gonna sell an octajaw to some old guy with too much money, no offense, but it got loose and now it's running amok all over town. We need to trap it before our guaranteed delivery time. An octajaw. I know this monster. I've seen it in my old grimoire, which is around here somewhere. Probably in the armoire, or under the ink jar. Your mansion seems different. Have you been doing some work lately? Don't stand under the chandelier, my dear. I loosened it to trap spies who perch on the edge. A seance table. Always good for raising one's spirits. Yes, but it's all tapped out. The celebrities say I'm harassing them. As if they have anything better to do. I'm gonna start cleaning. I'd be embarrassed if this was my house. I'd say something about manners, but you'll understand if I'm too busy doing you all a favor. If you want to be useful, Pumpkin, please feed Goliath. He's been giving me that look all day. Sorry, I missed that last part. What is that noise? Oh, you hear that, do you? It's only been going on since last Halloween. What you're hearing, Bonita, is the sound of wickedness. Oh, I'm sure somebody's just having fun. It is the day after Halloween. Wickedness is the name of the dance club behind my house. I've written numerous letters of complaint, but no one reads them, apparently. Probably because they can't read cursive. Of course, my cursive contains actual curses, but anyway, doesn't it drive you mad? Thankfully, I can hardly hear anything over the voices in my head. Well, aren't you a lucky devil? We should all be so lucky. Is this normal behavior? He's usually the fun kind of weird. Um, sorry to hear about your recent issues. I wish we could help. And what about you, Sheriff? Can't you do anything about the noise? Can't you lay down the law? Uh, you know, we're still working out my purview. And am I mad or were you not zooped through a portal along with the disreputable caretaker? Well, now that there is a tale of wonderment and redemption. I actually uh, got shrunk down to an insect, 
and live for a year inside your friend Pumpkin's overalls. <laughs> I tell you, we sure got into some jams. <laughs> Never mind, I must be going mad. Here it is. Freaky monsters and stuff we know about them. A wonderful tome, and here's your octajaw. You'll need a man of the cloth to read this passage. That should solve your problem. I think we know just the guy. This is worse than Sunday school. Children, you need to sip Chris Cross applesauce. This is a Colonel Cadaver's pizza, Pastor Munch. You're gonna see some bad things in here. Stay focused, everyone. The octo jaw is in here somewhere. The slime trail goes right through the front door and under the broken sign. I can see why no one noticed. We'll see y'all later. I'm gonna sit in with the band. Pumpkin, don't take another step. I see an eye stalk in the ball pit. Of course, the ball pit. A turbid pool of excrement and all manner of vile organisms. And I'm not talking about the children. Tell it to stop looking at Pumpkin. Sheriff, Rochester, guard the door. I'm gonna guard the heck out of this door. Chip, everyone knows you're brave and strong. The word hero comes to mind, so why don't you grab that stalk while Pastor Munch prepares the spell? Fine. Well, now he's looking at you, Mr. Chip. One... And two. <laughs> ah, read the spell, Pastor Munch! Hurry up, Munch! It's licking my fingers! Hello, Dr. McCormick, now we got the care of you. It's called my terrible stinking. Hey, name on them, this is my this weirdness. Oh, God, oh, God. I think it's working! Data bugs. I think it worked! I took this box from a birthday child. You can place the lava within it. I noticed you added a little something at the end there, Pastor. Yes, I went ahead and put my own little touch on it. I hope you liked it. Oh, sure, because now the octajaw has eyelashes. <coughs> Must have been what I said, doodle bugs. Must have been. Y'all better hope that customer don't notice. He might want a refund. It was nice having a store. Thanks, though, Pastor. Do you need a ride back to the church? The bingo action looked pretty hot tonight. It's time to resume my other duties at the jail, and it's only a little walk from here. Why don't you come with me, Mr. Skeleton? I want us to work together in fellowship. I'd like that. So, Preacher Tim, what's your commode situation over at the jail? Well, we got one. One toilet. It's kind of finicky. I'm to, I don't want to talk about it. I got a little problem. What about you, Pumpkin? You, know, all, you coming all, with we us? We all got our trials. We Can all I stay our here trials. and eat Colonel Cadaver pizza? Again, we are not your parents, but I think you've earned it. Yay! Now to see the collector. Man, the collector lives in the sticks. I'm feeling less cool by the second. I think it's the car. Don't listen, car. She doesn't mean it. Hey, Rochester, what's with those flowers out there? They look burned up or something. You're right. Everything here should be undead, not actually dead. These flowers have somehow been annihilated. And that's unusual? It's very unusual and very concerning. I just got a text from the collector. He said to let ourselves in. Truly, this is a horde of legendary status. Chip, stop messing with this guy's stuff. He has a very rare Curtis Creighton album. We need it for the store. Don't steal it! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, I'm not! I was just admiring. I mean, you've got some fantastic junk here. Fine, fine. Let me see my package. A couple of notes about your package. It did hatch. Yeah, that's the main thing. I can't wait to see my new companion. I got the best one in the catalog, sir. 
I might recommend caution when opening that box. Come to the collector, my sweet child. Oh, my. It's in that puppy stage, you know. Should we not attempt to pacify the Octojaw? Oh, yes. I have something for that. That is one old music box. Probably has a terrifying ballerina. It makes the loveliest sound, but I'm very old, so I can barely hear it. There's something odd about that artifact. Wait, I know what it is. Stuff your ears with these ancient newspapers! Good night, that smarts. Ow! What just happened? Sir, may I hold your lethal collector's item? Do we care if the octave jaw was outside now? You know what? One thing at a time. Just as I thought. This instrument was created by Vexco, the same company responsible for those horrid flowers last Halloween. I found it in a dimension without geometry or meaning. Then I am certain. This item is called the Cacophony. It is an ancient relic whose foul melody can unwind reality itself. Entire civilizations have disappeared beneath its sock. Unprepared listeners in close proximity will always succumb. It should really come with instructions. Sir, you must let us have it. Not to sell, but to dispose of. For all our sakes. Very well. Collecting may no longer suit me. I should think about what to do instead, with all my time. About that check. Nice, Chip. Let me box this up, and then I'll pay for my octojaw. Thank you. Please leave a review. Don't steal anything. We won't. Jeez. Guys, I cannot believe we pulled this off. I was not optimistic about this delivery. Especially after it became a monster and wrecked half the town, but we may have saved the boutique for now. To celebrate, I may take Minerva shoe shopping. Something with a sturdy hoof. No, ah, it's you! Uh, Mr. Collector, are, are you alright? What's going on in there? Oh, the company. Hang on, Collector! Don't listen! He's... dead. All that's left is dust and a soul patch. It's just like those flowers we saw. This is a rare, absolute death. An actual murder in Curdle Hollow. And the cacophony is gone. Meaning this could happen again. Who is the collector talking to? And what do they want with that music box? Oh, we hate your hat. To go.